Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Bets. And today, we've got another NHL slate we're going to be going over. Uh, we have seven games on the uh, slate today, and, I, and we're going to be going over six, and I like four of them. I really like this card today. This, this, I feel like this card has a lot of potential, and we're seeing NHL pretty good right now. Uh, but before we get into the video, before we get into the recap of what happened yesterday, you guys know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with a video here at Earl Sports Bets. You can also follow us on our social medias at Bets Earl on Twitter, at Earl Sports Bets on Instagram. We also have a Discord link if you guys want to join that. The link to that is in the description of the video down below. We also have merch if you guys want to help support the channel that way. The link to that is also in the description of the video down below we're also running our contest um right now which has two three three days left on it uh 28 29 and 30 and we have a battle for first place here andreas money 12.3 units gain this month katie fisher 10.11 it's gonna be a battle the last three days to see who's gonna be the winner in that contest and if you guys didn't get into it this uh if you guys didn't get in the contest this month, there's always next month. We're doing it again next month and the month after. We're going to continue having this uh, throughout. Probably this will be just a, a every month thing for us. So all you guys do, leave your best bet in the comments section below for all the sports. Baseball, basketball, hockey, anything. Or, yeah, those three in the comment section below. Uh, one pick per video per day. All right. Recap of what happened yesterday, and we had a great day yesterday. Overall, fantastic day here at All Sports Bets. Uh, I went seven and one in baseball, three and one in hockey, three and zero oh in basketball. The only one that the, my only loss in hockey is not on this page. I know that was a premium play, and unfortunately, the Red Wings lost in the shootout. So it happens. I felt good about it. The uh, Blue Jackets came in struggling. It is what it is. We had the Boston under. That one cashed 3-1. to one, uh, A winner on that game. Back-to-back -back, uh, unders cashed between the two, those two teams. Between the Penguins and the Bruins. Bounce back day yesterday. Florida and Carolina both get it done in emphatic fashion. 5-1 Carolina wins. 7-4 Florida wins. I believe Florida had over 50 shots on goal last night. It was some crazy number. I would have to look at the stats again. But we went 3-0 yesterday on video picks, which I really, really am happy about. And uh, we are 219 and 204, 51.8% uh, for the year. We are up 9.73 units so far this season. Well, let's try to make some more here today. We got some plays that I really like. Uh, and we're going to get it started here. We got the Vancouver Canucks taking on the Ottawa Senators. Uh, minus 106, minus 104. Pick them. Slightly favored are the Senators in this matchup at home. And it's most likely going to be Marcus Hugberg taking on Braden Holpe. Uh, Murray is out tonight. Thatcher Demko is day to day. And looking at this, I, I'm going with... The team that's dominated the series, and we're getting them at a pick on price. Uh, Vancouver, it's going to be very difficult for them to make the playoffs or anything like that. But it's going to start with games against this Ottawa team that they're going to need to win. Marcus Hogberg has not looked good in net this year. He's 3 7 and oh, 877 save percentage, 3.82 goals allowed per game. He's not looked good. Um, Brayden Holpe's looked great since the, uh, the uh, comeback from. The COVID pause, that's what I'm trying to think of here. And I like the way this Canucks team is playing. Uh, I was leaning towards the under in this game as well, but when Hogberg was announced, I'm not I'm not taking the under with Hogberg in net. Um, so we're going with the Vancouver Canucks in this game. I like a minus 104, uh, slight pick em dog. Uh, I think this is a good spot for them, a good price for them. And uh, we're going to try to take advantage of that. Give me the Canucks here. Minus 104 versus these Ottawa Senators, our next game here is two good-looking teams right now. Uh, we have the uh, St. Louis Blues taking on the 
Minnesota Wild, minus 152 for the Wild, plus 137 for the Blues. Jordan Bennington, uh, most likely in net. Cam Talbot confirmed in net for tonight. He is 17-6-3 this year, 926 save percentage, 2.33 goals allowed per game. And this uh, Wild team has looked really good lately. Uh, their last loss was to this Blues team when they beat them back-to-back -back games. Uh, I like this Blues team. They've been playing better of late. They've won their last two games. I know Minnesota's won their last seven. St. Louis has won two out of three for this game, uh, for this series. They've, uh, they understand how to approach this Minnesota Wild team. And I think they're going to get another win here. They just got off of back-to-back -back wins versus the Colorado Avalanche, which I, which I think is going to spring this momentum for the St. Louis Blues team. I'm going to back them here. Plus 137, I think, is a great price. Uh, I, I got him at plus 134, so the line's gone opposite way. But uh, I like the St. Louis Blues team here uh, to get a win tonight and uh, snap this wild winning streak. Uh, I think this is a good spot for them. So give me the Blues here, plus 137 versus the Minnesota Wild. Toronto Maple Leafs, Montreal Canadiens, uh, minus 152 for the Leafs, plus 137 for the Habs. Jack Campbell and uh, Jake Allen. Campbell is the projected goalie. A Allen is confirmed. He's 9-9-4 and four this year. 9-13 save percentage. 2.49 goals allowed per game. And uh, I was leaning towards Toronto. I should have bet them last night when they were a minus 133. They have now ballooned up to a minus 152. No action on that. Uh, slightly towards the under on this total. I just don't see these teams really scoring many goals right now. Uh, the Toronto can, but I see this. Uh, Toronto actually has really good defense, too. They've only allowed 2.71 goals per game. And they limit shots on goal, only allowing 28.4. So this Toronto team, I believe, can force an under here. Uh, I'm going to pass on this game, though. Uh, I like other spots on this card a lot more. And uh, this is just not a spot I'm particularly getting to today. So uh, we're going to be passing here between Toronto and Montreal uh, in that matchup. Our next game is going to be the Edmonton Oilers and the Winnipeg Jets. And that is my premium play over at picksandparlays.com. Uh, the link to that is in the description if you guys want to check that out. So we're going to skip that game. We're going to go to the Colorado Avalanche and the Vegas Golden Knights. Minus 140 for the Knights, plus 127 for the Avalanche. Over under 5.5 goals for this one. Uh, we're getting most likely Devon Dubnik in net for... This uh, or, or Jonas Johansson versus Mark Andre Fleury. I like the under in this game. Uh, I wish we, I'm hoping we can potentially get that up to a six today to take the under six. But uh, I'm gonna go with this uh, Colorado team. I know they haven't been playing as well. I know Vegas is coming in super hot, but. Riley Smith is day to day now, uh, as well. So I just noticed that. I mean, this this Vegas Golden Knights team has been playing really well, but I feel like these are very evenly matched teams, and I like the Avalanche, especially when you can get the Avalanche at a plus price tag. Yes, I'm aware they're without Grubauer. Yes, I'm aware they're without Byram, and yes, I'm aware I'm aware they're without Randon and Donskoy. But I like this Colorado team. I think they're going to compete here. And a plus 127 on, honestly, the best team in hockey. I think these two are the top two teams in hockey. And it's unfortunate we're not going to see them. Uh, uh, one of them pass the uh, division finals. But uh, I, I like Colorado in this spot. I think they're still the better overall team. They're first in goals scored. Fourth in goals allowed. First in shots on goal. Second in shots on goal allowed. Sixth in power play. Tenth in penalty kill. Um... And these, these two teams are very, very good. And uh, if there's a team to snap a nine-game winning streak, it is the Colorado Avalanche here with the uh, uh, against the Vegas Golden Knights. We're going to be taking the plus money here uh, in this series. That's just where I'm looking. Give me the Avs, plus 127 versus the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, next, we have the Anaheim Ducks and the LA Kings, minus 155 for the Kings, plus 140 for the Ducks over under five and a half goals here. Lean towards the under, obviously, but that's that's heavily juiced and it's not something I want to attack here. 
This Anaheim team is a heavy under team, though. They've gone under in seven of their last ten games. Um, and the Kings have gone under in their last two games. This is just not a matchup I want to tackle. Jonathan Quick versus John, uh, John Gibson is the projected goalies. No one confirmed, though. And I want nothing to do with this game. Uh, these two teams are awful. And it's I don't want to bet on this type of bum fight right now. Uh, when these two teams are tail spinning three and seven in their last ten games, L five are losing streak of five for the Anaheim Ducks, four and six in their last ten games for the Kings, uh, with that win against Anaheim snapping their losing streak there. Uh, so no action on this game. Uh, we'll move on to our last game of the night here, where we're looking at the Arizona uh, Coyotes and the San Jose Sharks minus one eleven for the Coyotes, plus one hundred one for the Sharks, over under five and a half goals. Darcy Comfer projected in net, not confirmed. Ranta is day-to-day, so I'm assuming they will go with him. And the Sharks are going with Yusef Corniar. Uh, he's 1-3, in 8-82 save percentage, 3.27 goals allowed. And plain and simple, I'm going to be fading him. Minus 111 on this Arizona Coyotes team. This is a bounce-back spot as well. Uh, both these teams have not been playing well of late. Uh, both these teams are 2-8 and eight in their last 10 games. I think the Coyotes get the win tonight. Uh, this is a must-win game for them to keep pace with those St. Louis Blues. So we're taking the Coyotes here, minus 111 versus the San Jose Sharks. I think this is a good bounce-back spot versus an inexperienced goalie that has not been playing well at all. So we're taking Coyotes here, minus 111 versus the San Jose Sharks. All right, quick recap of our plays for the day. We're going with the Vancouver Canucks here, minus 104 versus the Ottawa Senators. We're going plus 137 on the St. Louis Blues versus the Minnesota Wild. We're looking at the Avalanche here, plus 127 versus the Vegas Golden Knights. And we're going Arizona Coyotes, minus 111 versus the San Jose Sharks. If this information was helpful to you guys at all, feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified each and every time we come out with a video here at Earl Sports Best. But that's going to just about do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's make some money. Let's cash some bets in the NHL tonight. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.